Hey guys, welcome out to the Chattahoochee Hills, Fairburn, South Fulton line. I've been waiting on this community to come online for about a year and a half to two years. And it finally has started. I did a full video tour. This one it has four car garage. A lot of these are just about to go to dry wall phase. So you'll get an idea. Uh, this one, I think pre drywall, but I'll give you an example of the layouts and stuff like that. Where I'm walking is going to be a huge driveway you could do two you could do three or you could do four car garages <coughs> price points on these are pretty much going to be fives sixes sevens when you start adding in extra garages carriage houses basements i would say you're most likely going to be in the high sixes well into the sevens depending on the floor plan that you choose and there's multiple to choose um this one has a great look to it, it has a Covered front porch, a lot of their houses do. You can see the accented stacked stone. When you pick the lot, you'll be able to pick out the color of your house, the brick or stone elevation, the colors of it. I did a video of that one as well. But let's walk in. This is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite floor plans. And I'll explain why as we go through it. When you open this door, I don't know if you could tell because it is pre-drywall, but do you see how high and large this foyer area is? Could you imagine the amazing chandelier that you'll put in here? Maybe you do accented trim walls on both sides and you step up and you walk in and you just feel like you've entered a true estate. And this is an estate collection of homes over here. They all sit on one acre. A little bit about the area, this Chattahoochee Hills, Fairburn area. Tyler Perry owns a home over here. He's also building one about 10 minutes away in Douglasville. Uh, you're about maybe 10 to 12 minutes from the actual Atlanta line. About 40, 45 minutes to downtown Atlanta. Probably 30, 35 minutes to the airport. More new developments are coming to the area. I've read up about 800s to about 1.5 million. It will be coming over the next 10 years. Mixed use. An area called Serenby, because this is right on the Chattahoochee Hills line, is probably about 12, 13 minutes away. You are going to be blown away with the opportunity to build your brand new home on one acre of land in this amazing setting for five, sixes, and sevens. Yes. Next, what is this room? You see this? Do you see the curvature? These have to be at least 12 foot ceilings in this area. You've got the beautiful bay windows, which we saw the stack stone that this particular buyer has chosen. But this room, what would you use it for? Home office, conversation room, cocktail room, music room tranquility room right whatever you want that's the the curvature of these walls and these ceilings are just aesthetically so pleasing to the eye um you could make this a secondary like tv room you could build out like a bar and a tv above it you could have built out benches in here and just people gathering and relaxing you could obviously like i said make it an amazing home office you have so much flexibility Let's talk about the size, the sheer size of this dining room. The tic-tac-toe, the coffered ceilings, the double windows overlooking your covered front porch, your two-car garage, which you could also add a third or a carriage house for four. But this definitely screams like at minimum eight, but add a leaf, you could probably fit 12 people in here. You could do circular. You could do long. You could do with the extended leaf when you need it. Taping this in October 2023, we're about to end into Thanksgiving and Christmas and Kwanzaa and um, Hanukkah, all the major holidays. This is what home ownership allows, gathering of family and friends. Over here, you have a hall closet, coat closet. Then you'll have a half bath, cabinet, sink, toilet. That's what they call a powder room. Now we enter into the family room. And again, I'm not sure if the camera does it justice. These ceilings are not your standard eight, nine. They're probably 10 or 11 feet tall. Row of windows. Fireplace. Covered back porch. 
Imagine entertain. Look how big this space is. <coughs> your TV above, you see the orange wiring here? That's for your HDMI, HDMI outlet. Imagine what this wall could look with look like. Imagine your couches. Are you putting a couch, a low profile couch right under here? Are you doing like a moon shaped one? Half moon, right? Big accented coffee table, area rug. Are you doing hardwoods, revwoods in here? <coughs> Excuse me. Kitchen. This kitchen is absolutely fabulous because it has access right over past that wall to the dining room. It's easy to bring food, but also here uh, to the family room. But I want you to picture a big slab of granite or marble or granite quartz or marble, excuse me, overhanging here. And then your counter height stools. I want you to imagine all the cabinetry, all the, the, the wood or stainless steel vent hood blowing out any of those smells to the exterior of the house. Your sink right here, so when you're entertaining, when you're serving people, right here. So cabinets, 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 cabinets. Your refrigerator is going to be on this wall with more cabinets. And then what is that? What is that? That looks like a pretty big room. It's a hideaway pantry. So you're going to have a door or two cabinets that look like just a regular cabinet. You're going to open it up. And you're going to walk in and you could do your Keurig machine. You could build out a coffee bar in here. You can do, you know, your wire or wood um, shelving in here and just make this pantry a true hideaway pantry. How convenient when you come in from the two car garage right here to bring everything into the kitchen. Another closet. Start looking at some bedrooms. We saw that half bath over here. Again, this entranceway, insane. Bedroom number one, huge walk-in closet. Put your bed here. Put a love seat right here. What a great secondary bedroom. <coughs> Sawdust is killing me, so excuse the coughing. Full bath that these two bedrooms will share. Sink. Toilet, tub shower, transom window. Again, if you're a person that just wants to stand, stand up shower fully tiled, you could do that. You want a bathtub uh, shower combo like this, put tile around it, you can. That's the flexibility of this builder. I love this little entranceway into this bedroom. So you're going to have bedroom number two. Again, I probably would do a maybe a queen bed here or a full with one night stand, another couch or love seat over here, a walk-in closet. Through here, your laundry room. You can see washing machine, dryer. Of course, it has its own entry. I just wanted to show you because it's pre-drywall. I just love, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite top 10 floor plans that I've witnessed a lot of them. This is your laundry room with the window in it, more closet space. You can build this on a basement. Be prepared. Seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars unfinished. A lot of people, this is a look I've seen. Two barn doors. Open it up. Or one big one. <coughs> Excuse me. Sawdust is absolutely killing me today. Um, big, big primary bedroom. Put your bed here. Put a love seat at the very end. Flat screen TV. Put a stand up dresser. Two nightstands on both sides. Or you want to just put a bench there and put a nice couch or a couple chairs. Look at these views. <laughs> I mean, heavenly. Truly, truly heavenly. This is why I love what I do. I know you guys are going to build these and just be super, super happy. And we'll be over for the housewarmings for sure. Look at the vaulted ceilings. Double vanity sinks. This will probably be a standalone tub, what they call a crawl tub too. Or you can do regular tiled bathtub if you want. 
towels and linens, a big stand-up shower. Now you could do a light, you could do the rain head, you could do two shower heads if you want. Toilet closet, and what is this? This is your walk-in closet. I think that even on this floor plan, don't hold me to it, but I think they may also allow an island in here with drawers. Of course, they're going to give you the wire racks and stuff like that, unless you're going to pay them a big chunk of money to build it out. I say do it after the fact. Use one of our referrals. So we've had three bedrooms we've seen here. That gigantic kind of front study flex room. But guess what, guys? There's an upstairs area. Yes. So you have three accessible bedrooms, including your primary. And then this is pretty much, I'm not even going to lie. This is like two other houses up here. And let me explain. Guys, this is another family room. This is another like family gathering room. If you have kids and you want them out of your hair, especially if they're older, you can give them this level. If you have, it's just you and your young, your young couple, you want, or you're a grandmother or grandfather, and you want that first level, look at all the space here. TV room, popcorn machine room, pool table room, full bath, sink, toilet, tub shower. So you have this floor covered as far as a bathroom. Bedroom number four. Right? <laughs> Again, these views. Double door closet. Put your bed here. Flat screen TV. Just to show you how big this two-story foyer was. Now, this won't be accessible, right? So the drywall goes up, but just showing you how big it is. You say, Mark, this is absolutely amazing. Oh, my tour is not over, guys. There's another level. Yes, a three-level house. This is not even on a basement. Hallway. Storage. Got your furnaces. Storage, closet, whatever you want to do. Bedroom number five, guys. Bedroom number five. With these type of views with these type of views. King size bed. Another full bath, right? All the storage space, closet space. Change your air filters. You're not gonna have to climb up into an attic. This is where you change it. Two big furnaces, that's how big this house is. We saw that vent hood from your kitchen. And then let me show you Outback. Absolutely one of my favorite floor plans. The hideaway, you would not know. You walk through that front door with that two-story floor, you're just wild. You're like, this is probably going to be a great ranch. Guess what? There's three levels to the house. If you build it on a basement, you could do four levels. Now, I would expect that to be well into the 700s easily. Covered back porch. If you want to extend a concrete patio, if you want to put a fireplace out here, you can that's what I love about this builder. But look at these lots. Look at these one acre lots. Like I said, nine, 10 minutes to the actual Atlanta line, 40 minutes to downtown Atlanta, Douglasville, Noonan, Chattahoochee Hills, Fairburn, all at your fingertips. Design center, pick the lot, pick the floor plan, pick your paint, pick your elevation. Do you want a two, three, four car garage? The later you wait, I'm telling you, I have been doing this for over 20 years. I've been selling in all kinds, parts of Atlanta. I sold right down the street, had nine people build in the threes and fours all day, every day. Down the street here, fives, sixes, sevens. What do you think they'll be? That was four years ago. What do you think this is going to be four years from now, 10 years from now? One acre, three level home. Four level if you build it on a basement, two, three, four car garage. What are you going to do? Greathomesatl.com. You don't have an agent. Begin process button. Three lender referrals, Zoom consultation. Mark and Kurt are out here helping you build 
your brand new home. Hit me up, guys. Greathomesatl.com. Talk to you soon.